what is up everybody welcome to today's video hope everybody's doing well feels super good to be back obviously as you guys know i was on vacation for two weeks traveling the hawaiian islands but it feels good to be back excited to make this video because this is a this is a question that i get asked all the time and not just a question that i get asked all the time but it's it's something that i feel is so important and that what what that is is what is the number one skill that every entrepreneur must have if they want to succeed okay this is the number one skill above all skills and the, the crazy thing is that this is probably the hardest to learn okay it's the hardest to learn but at the same time it is the most important um, before i even get into that topic i do want to talk about struggle and coffee too so i just announced struggle and coffee too here are some photos of the first struggle and coffee so struggle and coffee is basically just an entrepreneur slash creative slash visionary slash people who love coffee event completely free i don't i'm not asking for a single penny from you you know you show up you come and it's just a conference not really a conference it's more of like a casual event where we get together we talk we hang out we talk about you know um you know e-commerce we talk about digital marketing we talk about you know all kinds of things personal branding we talk about social media and all of these things so it's going to be hosted next july or not next july july 1st it's going to be from 1 p.m to 6 p.m at the crown plaza it's going to be at the ballroom auditorium it's going to be huge like i said 1 p.m to 6 p.m so i would love for you guys to be there there was over 150 people that went to, to went to the last one so hopefully if you're able to make it i would love to see you there i would love to get to know you um and on, on top of that not only is there going to be unlimited coffee for you guys but my mentor daniel d piazza will be there as a special guest speaker we'll be talking we'll be having like a fireside chat we'll be asking him some questions i'll be asking him some questions so it's going to be huge so much value that's going to be coming into you know this um you know this uh, event so hopefully you guys are able to make it this is our very our second one the first one people came from oregon people flew in from texas people flew in from florida um it's it was huge so this is this time i really want to do it a lot bigger uh, have a more strategic approach so that i can deliver the utmost value for all of you guys it's going to be nothing but fire cool so let's talk about the number one skill that every entrepreneur must have if they want to succeed okay what would what is that one skill you know there's there's a lot of skills you know um you know work hard and you know work ethic and these things like that but what is the number one skill okay the number one skill that every entrepreneur must have if they want to succeed is this understanding how to become under pressure so what do i mean by that when you make the commitment that you want to change your life, that you want to get financial free or you know achieve financial freedom, you want to you know um, leave your nine to five job, you want to build a, a, a thriving or a powerful, uh, build a successful business, build a, an impactful company, all of these things. As an entrepreneur, you need to prepare yourself for battle. Okay, there are so many things that are going to go wrong there are going to be so many things that aren't going to go the way that you want them to like right now with amazon fba amazon is really cracking down on reviews and because of that it's putting a lot of pressure on people's back thinking like oh my god is amazon even viable anymore like is amazon fba dying like you know people are just freaking it's like freaking fire and everyone's just running and panicking right as an entrepreneur, you have to learn how to be calm. You need to understand to, 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 to take a step back, to come from a logical standpoint and be like, what is the next thing? What is my next step? What can I do to overcome this so I can continuously keep growing? Okay. That's important. Okay. As you guys can see, like with my journey, you know, there's a lot of things that have that you, and there's a lot of things that have happened in my journey that it, it could have been so easy for me to quit. And I tell people this all the time, the deeper you get into entrepreneurship, the more that you, you, you start to succeed as an entrepreneur, the more you realize why few people make it because it gets very, very difficult. And the thing on top of that is it's, you have to remember, you don't, it doesn't get easier you just get stronger you learn you harness the skill of like i was saying understanding how to be calm under pressure um, and going back to what i was saying you know there are people that are you know that are starting rumors about me there are people that are editing conversations they have with me there are people that are trying to take my business down there are people that are, are trying to, to create youtube videos about me trying to make to give me a bad name people are trying to like people are really trying to bring me down okay and it could be so easy for me to be like, you know what? This is too much pressure. I can't handle it. I'm going to quit. 
but I don't do that because that's not the, because the, the, just from that alone, you guys can see like, oh my God, like if that happened to me, people are starting rumors about me. People are talking crap about me. You know, everybody's like start and like, they're just trying to bring my biz down. Like, I don't know how I would handle that. Right. Just from that alone, you guys could feel the kind of pressure that it has on somebody. But for me as an entrepreneur, it's what can I do to keep moving forward? Because that's all I, I that's all I care about. And like, check it out. Check it out. This guy, guys, check it out. <laughs> Check it out this way, guys. People, not just people, but things can go wrong, okay? Let me just use me as an example because we're already on that topic. People can do these things to try to bring me down, try to bring my business down, try to talk about me, but what they'll never ever do, ever do, is stop me from working. They will never ever stop me from working. They will never ever stop me from building impactful companies. They will never ever stop me from doing what I do best and that's being a fucking, just, just being awesome and helping people building impactful companies and working, that's it, period. And the same thing goes for you. People, you know, you know Amazon can change the way their algorithm is. They, uh, you know, your suppliers can, can, you know, something can happen with your supplier, you know, just something like, simple, simple as that. Amazon can suspend your account. They can, you know, uh, remove your review they you know anything that happens in your entrepreneurship journey it can everything that you think can go wrong can possibly go wrong goes wrong what are you going to do you need to be calm you need to be collected when everybody is running and you know they're they're panicking and they're quitting and they're you know they're they're like you know f this everything's a scam everything you know, everyone's a fraud like this doesn't work amazon fba is dying like this is dying what you do as an entrepreneur is do this what can I do based on these circumstances to continuously move forward, to build my business and to keep growing? And you know what? You do that, okay? So for me, what can I do to keep moving forward? Despite, you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, uh, this is going on. You know, you have to understand how to continuously be calm and to navigate, to pivot, to adjust so you can keep moving forward. You guys have to understand being an entrepreneur isn't just all gla like glamorous. And this is something, this is why I talk about all the time. It's not just about all the good things that are happening, right? You see, uh, you, you think about entrepreneurship, a lot of people think about entrepreneurship and they think about the cars, the fame, the the, the glory, the, the money, the, the being able to do whatever you want, the freedom, but nobody talks about what entrepreneurship really is it's a battle every day it's a struggle a mental battle every day it's it's discouraging at times it's demotivating at times you feel like you want to quit people don't understand you people are trying to talk crap about you people are trying to criticize you you're losing money your suppliers don't don't want to work with you you know you you're you're trying to to you don't have enough time you know your family's nagging you like this is what entrepreneurship is and understanding and understanding well understanding Understanding how to continuously be calm under those circumstances to keep and to stay focused on your goal is what makes an entrepreneur, not just an entrepreneur, but what creates a successful entrepreneur like as you continuously move forward. That's what makes entrepreneurs successful. It's what makes entrepreneurs successful isn't just them continuously sorry guys my camera cut off right there but what makes an what does it, what makes an entrepreneur successful isn't just about the good things they do it's it's their ability to always power through the bad that is happening to to develop that skill of being calm under pressure un being collected understanding what's the next step because you guys have to understand like if you got if you're out there and you have employees if you have employees and something bad happens and you're in a boardroom meeting and they're all looking at you and they ha they're scared, they're panicking. They're like, I'm gonna lose my job. I'm, I, I might lose my job. How am I gonna feed my family? Uh, I'm scared. It is your job as an entrepreneur to sit at that boardroom meeting and to look every single one of them in the eye, even though deep inside you know that you're scared, but you're calm under that pressure and say, guys, we're gonna be okay. This is what we're gonna do. X, Y, and Z, this is what you're gonna do. This is what you're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. And this is how we're gonna continuously move forward. This is how we're gonna power through this struggle, this adversity, this challenge right now. And you know what that's gonna, t t what's that, that's gonna say about you as an entrepreneur? That's gonna say that you are a leader, you, that you understand that no matter how tragic, no matter how tough the circumstances are of what's going on, that you're gonna continue to be calm and you're gonna keep staying focused on what's ahead, the future and what you can do. So that's the most important skill as an entrepreneur. It's not, you know, uh, you know who it's, it's, it, that's, I mean, that's just it. 
you know, there's so many things that, can, that are gonna go wrong as an entrepreneur, and you guys have probably experienced it already. You guys have probably experienced the, the beginning stages of, of those, those things. But like I said from the very beginning, it's not, it, it, you don't, it doesn't get easier. You only get stronger. People look at me and think, oh, Derek, you know, you have a beautiful house, you have a beautiful car, you have a beautiful girlfriend, you have a, you know, you have like money and stuff like that. And, but, and they're like, you, it, they make it seem like everything is always good. And there's a lot of things that I'm super grateful for. Don't get me wrong. But, but there, I go through very, very tough things all the time, challenges as an entrepreneur. But I've learned that I have to continuously be calm. It doesn't, doesn't mean that it's easy, but I have to continuously move forward. I have to continuously stay focused on the direction that I'm going, uh, you know, the direction of my companies, the direction of the projects that I'm working on. How can I continuously move forward? How can I be calm? How can I, how can I strategize in a way that no matter how much chaos there is, that I can put my head down and be like, this is what needs to happen. This is what we need to do so that we can keep moving forward. If you, like, like I said, if you have employees. So I can keep rambling on because this is something I'm so passionate about because I understand a trillion percent what you guys are going through. That's why I'm so empathetic. I think sympathetic, empathetic to the struggles that a lot of entrepreneurs go through because I get it, you know, and I don't consider myself a s successful entrepreneur. I just consider myself an entrepreneur that's been fortunate enough to, to, to build great things and to, to have these opportunities, um, you know, but I mean, that's it. I don't wanna just keep rambling on. The number one skill that every entrepreneur must have if they wanna succeed is to understand how to become under pressure. That's what's gonna matter the most. There are gonna be things that are going to change things that are, are gonna hit you on the blind side, that are gonna punch you in the back of your head, you need to have the ability to keep your head up, to keep moving forward, and to stay focused on the ultimate goal. And that's just whatever that goal is. If you wanna leave your nine to five job, that's always gonna be the goal. Um, so the plan might change, but the goal never changes, okay? You may have to adjust the plan, you might have to go to plan B, plan C, plan D, all the way to plan Z and back around all the way to plan A, but the plan will always change, but the goal never changes, okay? So guys, if you guys are going through some tough times with your, your business, whether it's your Amazon business, your salary, your dropshipping store, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't care if you're selling t-shirts online, whatever it is, keep moving forward. Really harness the skill, of that understanding of like, things are gonna go wrong, but I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to be calm. What is my next step? That's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully uh, it inspired you. Hopefully it gave you guys a, a clear message and hopefully it gave you guys some peace of mind, some clarity on how you guys can deal, you know, as you continue to move forward as an entrepreneur, because it's going to be tough. You're going to lose money. People aren't going to understand you. Okay. It's going to be tough. You're going to have those times in your, at night where you can't sleep because you're like, how am I going to make this work? But that's what entrepreneurship is. And if you continue to move forward, trust me from the bottom of my heart, when I say that if you can stick to it, you will see so much, so many beautiful things, so many, you're going to sit on whatever island that you want to sit your sit in or paradise or Hawaii or in Greece. And you're going to look out and you're going to look out into that open and you're going to say, I am so glad that I never quit. And you're going to look at your family and you're going to look into their eyes and you're going to say to yourself, you're going to have this deep feeling that no one can ever take away from you. And you know what you're going to say? I'm so glad that I never quit. So that's the message. Hopefully you guys uh, like this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Comment down below what you guys thought, if it helped you guys out a ton. I don't know how long this video is, but you know, it is what it is. Just trying to drop some knowledge for you guys because it's something that I'm feeling deep inside. Um, and it's something that, that, that's, you know, that I feel deeply uh, about and want to share it with you guys, okay? So Struggling Coffee, July 1st. If you can make it, I would love to meet you. All right, don't miss out. I'll post a flyer right here again. Uh, but other than that, um, comment down below if you have any questions, if you, what you thought about this video, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm gonna be posting content out the ass, so make sure you subscribe to this channel, okay? I'm glad to be back posting content for you guys. It's gonna be awesome. I have so many amazing things to share with you guys. Um, you know, we're all family here. It's all love, all love for me. Peace out. See you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.